Hey girl, welcome back to another episode of Tarot Investigation Girl. Girl, Tarot Investigation is not just for crimes, okay? We gotta check in on relationships. We gotta investigate on these relationships that's out here in these streets, girl. Especially in 2023, moving forward, okay? I'm gonna I'm look out for y'all if y'all don't look out for yourself. So right now I'm trying to look out for a uh, young Miami. So we're gonna do a reading on Mr. P. Diddy Combs, Diddy. Now, I'm not completely mad at Diddy because Diddy did make it public that he and uh, Carisha are dating, but he's still a single man. I can respect the man that's being honest. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be frank with you. I can respect the man that's being honest. It's the man that lied that I have a problem with. Now he did sit on on her show. He took his glasses off. He was being frank. He was being honest with her. He said we have fun. We date. We do our thing. And she was like, we go together. Yeah, I'm gonna have your baby. She the one made the food out of herself. He and he just sat there and looked at her. He gave her that look like for real. So you're going to say that for real, for real? Okay. So she did that herself. So we're not going to blame the man for that. Y'all know I don't mind pointing the finger at the man. But this time he was actually being honest. So I can respect that. Now. And then you can't come in and... Because women, girl, will do it, girl. What like we'll come in. I'm going to be that girl that's going to change him. No, ma'am, you're not. Okay. You're going to be the girl that's going to look like the fool. Because he already done said it in front of everybody. Okay. So... And it seems like right now he's trying to prove that he can break a city girl. Okay, because city girls are like, don't catch feelings, get the bag, get the this. She don't call it feelings, girl. She don't call it golden shower. And you know when they do the golden shower, she's not getting, it's not like he doing the golden shower on her leg. It's all in her face, her mouth probably open. You so disgusting, young Miami. I used to like, I, I, I didn't have no feelings for the young Miami or the Carisha and all them, um, the city girls, because I just wasn't into them like that. But then when she got her show, and and I kind of liked her relationship with P. Did at the beginning because it was honest, I thought. Um, but the more she talked, especially after she said she loved a golden shower, I, girl, I lost all respect, okay? You know what a golden shower is? That's his waist. And he chose to do that on you, which means you a waste to him. He don't see value in you. It's almost like he get pleasure out, out of embarrassing you. And then the fact that you sit there and enjoy it, that just turns him on. Oh, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so sad for this generation of girls. Because I thought they was, I thought they was winning. I thought they was winning, but they just talking, girl. As soon as they get with a man, they give him a few dollars, they show him a little attention, they get all in their feelings, and then they start getting pissed on. Okay, so let's go ahead and just jump into this reading. Let's see what is P. Diddy's, Diddy's true motive for Young Miami. You know, he already said it. Let's just see if the card's going to stick with it. So, the my angels, give me the best cards from this deck to show us how P. Diddy really feels about his city girl, Carisha, a.k.a. Young Miami. Okay, the card that came out that didn't want to come out, it's the journey, honey. It's a journey for him, honey. It's a temporary journey. It's not even a permanent journey. So, this journey card that speaks about, you know, he want to go places with her. You know, maybe want to travel. Maybe want to go to, it's somewhere he wants to go with her. Okay. Whether that's a physical place or a virtual place, girl, or maybe, honey, some type of status. It could be. Okay. So let's see. Let's pull some cards. Give me more about this journey and to do his intentions for you and my enemy. All right. Let's make sure my cards flipped over that I didn't see. Nope. So what we got here. Oh, girl. I'm hoping for the best for her. But it ain't looking good. So we got the chaser here. First card out is the chaser. I guess you can see it here. The chaser. That's a chaser in a codependent relationship. The fear of abandonment issues. Somebody has a fear of being abandoned. 
somebody has a fear now we got the journey here now p did car is a journey he moving okay his car is a movement type of thing he not sitting still with his journey card now because he not sitting still it seems like somebody is chasing him now he could be the chaser okay because the chaser is a mover also but and they it they both can be dependent on each other some type of way they both need each other for something so that means that it could be a, some type of agreement but it's starting to get to the point that it's a one-sided type of agreement agreement because somebody is doing a chasing now if the runner shows up here then you know it's a cat and mouse type of thing but right now we just got a abandonment issues now it could be both of them you know Peter the probably don't want to spend days in his mansion alone and whenever he can't get the other preferences there he, he loves to have young Miami there um, but this is definitely a codependent relationship okay somebody's chasing and then we got the snake now remember I'm asking how he feels about young Miami and we got the snake we got com competition so young Miami is, has some competition and he knows it and he told her about it we also got enemy we got clever we got somebody being malicious it says look over your shoulder the other woman girl I don't know how y'all gonna read it cause my new setup let me down okay oh there okay maybe you could read it like the other woman so yeah he traveling baby this baby this man is all over the place on yachts on planes okay in different cities honey he got a different woman in different area codes honey so and Miami is chasing that um, but we got the snake baby Miami you got a lot of competition baby can you keep up you sitting there arguing with the internet argue with your man oh no no girl no girl don't argue with Diddy girl no I don't think that's gonna go well so yeah girl I guess go ahead and argue with the internet girl so yeah she always looking over her shoulder it seems like somebody's being malicious like somebody is being malicious here and I feel like it's him it's like he trying to make this girl look like a fool and it's not really him making her look like a fool it's like she making herself look like a fool because when did he have so many leaks he never had so many leaks where we saw his side chicks like this he never had he never announced a baby while he was with somebody else when did he announce babies I didn't even remember him announcing none of his other kids. They just were born. Well, I guess his baby was kind of born and announced too. You know, he he always wanted a Blasian baby. He finally got it. So, and Miami trying to get him a, a black baby. I don't think he wants that. I think he done made his quote on black babies. But it says competition, clever, malicious. So he being maybe trying to be a little malicious here as well. Uh, girl, we got the ax. Girl, ain't none of these cars good. The X speaks of a breakup, a separation. Stop the patterns. So it's some type of patterns and cycles that's here. Um, malicious patterns, okay? Um, the other woman, that's a pattern, okay? It's like you so have such a fear of being abandoned that you allow these patterns to keep on going. Um, but it says silent treatment, abandonment again. It's a lot of abandonment here. But you got a fear of abandonment. And he keep on kicking up those abandonment issues in you. Okay, because he constantly giving you the silent pr treatment. You can't reach him when you want to. He can reach you. You better answer when he call. But you can't reach him all the time. He'll give you the silent treatment. And then this is a pattern of this. It's like, do you even know you're in a relationship? Because he constantly on the go. You can't keep up with PD and his money. He constantly on the go. And then we got the coffin. Girl, would you want a man to be... Okay, if you came and asked... What was your man's feelings for you? And the card that came out is Chaser, the Snake, X, Coffin. Girl, this seems like a Christian and um, Blue Face type of relationship. It says an ending, bring new beginnings, a growth, a change, a liberation, a transition. So that's gonna be a breakup here. And either she's gonna liberate herself or she gonna go down, okay, with this coffin. It's like she's gonna go to the left okay um, because it's gonna be a big change you're probably not gonna be able to recognize her and she gonna lose money she gonna look broke um, but it speaks about a new beginning this ending is gonna bring a new beginning for somebody but it's a hard ending this is a hard ending a coffin that's the worst type of ending it's like and then we got soulmates okay 
So we got an ex, a breakup, a death. Then comes the soulmate. Now, is this young Miami possibly mean somebody after this breakup? After she gets through? Or is P. Diddy going to finally find his soulmate? After he ends things with young Miami. But it speaks about a soul connection, a partnership, an agreement. A soul contract. But then, then again, he got patterns and cycles of doing this. So he may cut it off, dead it, and then come right back again. Talking about he a soul, he a soulmate. And then we got Cupid's error. Have faith. Love is coming. A surprise. An invitation. But there's going to be some hesitation here. So right at the end, girl, after somebody done chase somebody down, done fought through all the competition, okay, done cut off, um, done dealt with all the abandonment, the separations, the acts, the death card, the endings, the brutal endings, okay, here comes a soulmate, another soul contract. And then Cupid may shoot his arrow at this time. Have faith. But there's going to be some hesitation with this, um, this Cupid's arrow. So let's find out more. Give me more about this chaser. Why is this chaser here in Young My Aunt? For P. Diddy and his feelings for Young My Annie. Okay, in the chaser... We got mountains. It's a lot of obstacles in this relationship. Okay, that's why this person right here is chasing. This person having fear of abandonment issues um, because uh, the problems that this that this man brings into this woman life creates a lot of challenges and delays, uh, obstacles. Um, but the mountain is a beautiful scenic. Um, it's, it's beautiful and scenic, but it's hard to climb. It's hard to maneuver around, especially when it has ice on it. Okay. So it's very difficult here. It's a lot of challenges in this relationship. Give me more about the snake. Okay, we got the snake here. We got a ring here. Somebody's personal property. Now the ring can also mean engagement, but it speaks about again. This this speaks about an agreement. It speaks about a partnership. Somebody's property. Okay. It also speaks about, it could be real estate, it could be um, honey, the doorbell ring, the ring camera, okay, seeing something. But it's gonna, it speaks about um, wisdom, a conversation that you may have. You're very curious about something. You're excited about this. It's a conversation that you're having with a partner. So we got competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, okay, because your partner's out there communicating with other people. Your partner probably even got some type of agreement with somebody else. A partnership and whenever you come confront him about this other woman he, he lets you know baby read your contract okay go back to the contract okay and read the details of it okay because don't talk to me this way don't speak to me this way okay do you know who I am it says break the silence break up separation what's the act here the silent treatment okay why is the act here for Biddy and how he Treats me on Miami. Okay. That card wants to come out. We're going to go ahead and let it come out. We got the whip, which speaks about suffering. It's a lot of suffering, arguments. Okay. The sexual whip. Um, the sexual whip. Now, this could be sexual dominance as well. Now, when this card right here comes out, this is cute if this is what you're into. But sometimes it can get out of control, okay, to the point that it get dangerous. You're going to need a safe word when you're dealing with this person. You need a safe word. And it's like, do this person even listen when you give the safe word? Okay. It speaks about uh, somebody's repelling, somebody's arguing a lot. The partnership is very toxic. It speaks about a lot of suffering, purging, okay, purging, a lot of conflict. Okay, so we got the axe followed by the coffin with the purge with the whip in the middle. Okay, talking about purging something, getting rid of something, a breakup, getting a silent treatment. Next, we got the coffin. Why is the coffin here? The coffin is here because there's some distortion here, there's some clouds here. Okay, somebody is uh, gaslighting somebody. There's some problems. Again, we got obstacles with the mountain. Girl, it's a lot of controlling issues here. Uh, Miami is just pretty much this man's property at this point. Okay, but we got a lot of blurred lines, distortion, dilemmas, problems, delays with the clouds. 
okay a lot of misunderstandings here it's gonna be a lot of misunderstandings with this coffin coffin card but then we got the soulmate it's followed by the soulmate okay did he take it too far right here that he gotta go back and and beg and 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 do some type of um soul connection some type of soul searching after he do this situation right here give me more about the soulmate energy for pd and how he feels about me on miami okay the soulmates girl it speaks about the moon something's going to be secretive whatever happened with this coffin that they're going to cloud and cover it up and going to give you some type of lie about it they're going to hide it okay it's going to be a shadow okay it's like some type of delusions okay cycles but it's cycles of whatever this is okay moon energy it's going to be a top secret concerning the, the gentleman mr p diddy the black man baby so yeah man yeah miami feels like she's gonna hide whatever all this past has happened and she feel like this is her soulmate okay now he's looking over here at the cupid arrows let's find out why the cupid arrows are here give me more about the cupid air uh oh we got the cupid arrow okay so we got the cupid arrows here which means this man loves somebody he got some type of love for somebody here okay because the arrows are here okay his soulmate is here at the end who is this soulmate girl is that justin beaver who is this y'all it's another gentleman here it speaks about a young male a masculine energy now i'm asking about this cupid arrows now because you remember we talked about young miami the gentleman already showed up with his secrets okay something that he's hiding in his coffin okay he's secrets he got clouds around this young lady honey um when it comes to his sexuality this sexual energy energy is a lot of clouds here that's clouding judgment that's blurred okay a lot of distortion here but it's very clear at the end what's going on with this gentleman okay cupid arrow his soulmate is this gentleman got the key here was the doorway opening honey somebody he keeping locked away okay his destiny and it's like yeah miami may even have knowledge of this okay it's like a threshold destiny somebody's edge somebody's on the edge here with this knowledge about this gentleman this caucasian gentleman with this um black male girl and very sneaky baby very manipulative deceptive with this fox energy treachery conniving okay this also speaks about skills and work this can be him being conniving at work this could be somebody he worked with as well um but yeah very very sneaky energy with this fox and he's at a crossroad he got to make a decision but he's making this decision whatever decision he makes is going to be with one a free will okay it's like miami you you here you know what's going on okay you are here with your free will you are accepting this his secret life free and willingly okay and it's like you may be divided you know you may be going down the wrong road but baby whatever road you choose you chose it on your own nobody forced you to do it nobody's forcing him to do it okay this is our free will and you have to make a choice right now. You may be divided about your choice, but right now you're at the crossroad. It's time to make a decision. So, y'all, that's the reading for P. Diddy. Let's see if P. Diddy want to say something to Young Miami. Let's pull out the Handmaid Tale card. P. Diddy, what would you like to say to Young Miami? If you could talk to a girl right now. Because you seem like you give us some silent treatment. You call her in and you want to want to everybody know that you're having sexual activities with a young lady okay that's the only time you let somebody know something about her okay but other than that we don't see nothing else okay she break up with you that means you did something behind the scenes that she didn't like okay so we're gonna see and she love a good golden shower for you so i i can't imagine what you're doing that that's disgusting her if that don't disgust her so girl let's pull some cards let's see p diddy what you want to say to my Amy, please Let's see if he wants to say this my Annie. Okay. All right, baby. Oh. 
Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Okay. I think this one came out first. I don't even want to hear it no more because it's too much. Okay. What he's saying is, this is a good card. He said, I should have treated you better. I would think so. Okay. Because this is a lot of harsh energy here for that girl who's, who's there trying to be a beard for you, allegedly. But you should have treated her better because she actually liked you. He says, when you are truly ready. Ready for what? Your truth or the real truth? Okay. She ready for the real truth. Now, your truth, I don't know. He said, next week. He said, I will never forgive you. What did she do? Did she tell on you? Did she, what she do? In zero to three months. He said, please stop calling me. Dang. So he right now giving her the silent treatment. But that's a pattern. It's cycles. Honey, when he over here with uh, Theodore, or whoever this is, girl, she she being silent treated very well that day. Okay, he is not answering the door. He is not. He being very conniving. But he's at the end of the day, he said, "Girl, you was here. You know why? You know what's going on. You here with your free will." He says, "But stop calling me today." He said, "I found someone better than you." Did he? He said, we were bad for each other. Dang, have they broke up? Then look at them. Do you still think about us? The gaslighting. It's the gaslighting. He said, my family was wrong about you. Oh. Then he said, I miss you. Diddy, is this the same I miss you like you said you officially missed um, um, Notorious B.I.G., Big Papa? After you done did what you did to him. Because we don't trust your misuse. But that's it, girl. That's all he said. That's all he got to say. So that's the reason for P. Diddy and how he truly feels about Miss Carisha. Miss Carisha, please. So hope you enjoyed that reading, girl. Stay tuned for the next reading, which is Miss Carisha. Okay? Talk to y'all later. Bye.